Oh, hello, Professor Fisson Dinapod here with. Yep, oh, anyway, Frank at least. Frank, yes, hello. Um, no idea. I'm just a little looking at the. Uh, so far, it's like 763 extrasolar solar planets, which means planets that are not going around our star, which is the Sun, Sol, Sol, S O L, S L 3. And uh, anyway, so looking at there's a very cool site you should look at called. Um, I think extrasolar, yeah, extrasolar.eu, as in the European Union. Yeah, it's exoplanet, e x o p l a n e t. dot e u. So, really cool. And then couldn't help but noticing, you know, being a crazy artist that I am, yes, eh, um, that they have a, a picture of all the flags across the top. You know, you know, Spain and Germany and England, I guess, too. England, or, well, anyway, you know, things, anyway. So I was thinking, ah, oh, it'd be cool. So we should have a flag, you know, and they have a United Nations flag, right, of course. But then if there would be a flag for Earth, you know, and uh, what would it be? Should it be symbols? Should it be stars, countries, obviously, boundaries, and it's nice little uh, things people, humans especially, seem to really argue over the boundary, you know. It's, uh, it's uh, Rio, uh, living here in Texas, as I do, the Rio Grande, or Rio Grande, you know, the River Grande, uh, the, Anyway, it's down there at the bottom of Texas, or the top of Mexico, depends on your point of view, I guess. Yeah, it's, sorry, it doesn't work anyway. Um, but you get the point. What was I saying? Oh, yes, very good. Ah, look at duck. Yes, very nice. Um, okay. Ah, it's a, a Korean velvet scoter, which is a shorebird, and the Korean velvet is a really cool um, duck. You know those dabblers? This, the ducks stay mainly on the surface, and then there's divers. They go way down in the muck and mire. And I think it's the diving duck that's referred to as the wild duck by Ibsen, I B S E N, uh, Henrik, H E R H E N R I K, I think. It's very funny because it's sort of a cool pun by Hen about Henrik, about the names. Henrik Ibsen is the playwright, a uh, pretty cool guy, died at the age of 75, as a call, although just not particularly available in live form. But anyway, so the first 25 years of his life, he did something. I don't know what it was. In the next 25 years of his life, he was a poet. In the last 25 years of his life, or for deciding and thinking that's the end of his life or the beginning of something else, we don't know. Metaphysics is beyond my uh, desire to talk about this time. Anyway, so 25 years he writes these plays, really cool plays, inspiring people like uh, George Bernard Shaw and, of course, all of the uh, absurdists such as myself to make what are called the problem play. Hmm. Anyway, the you know, problem is the play, like um, the Doctor's Dilemma by Shaw, um, and that's always been dealt with. You know, the problem play would be like uh, is it Joseph Conrad. Anyway, I, uh, getting off the subject. Oh, look, yes, there's no bird. There's nothing. It's just the room. Okay. Anyway, so what would this flag for the whole world look like, and what should it have on it? it should it have symbols and stars and? And letters and people, humans, you know. You remember the beautiful little thing they sent on the Voyager? It's a picture of um, people, a man and a woman. Um, and then uh, I think a picture of the, it's Carl Sagan and Drake and what's her name? I can't remember her name. Anyway, these people have this thing. There's all these things in this little plaque. It's supposed to represent Earth and little line dots on it. And those are supposed to be the location of some. Uh, really well known, like neutron stars, and there's sort of like you know, neutron stars are like the signposts, you know, because they're very unique. They're spinning at a very certain specific frequency. It doesn't seem to vary at all. And of course, when Jocelyn Bell, uh, Jocelyn uh, J O well, any Bell, she discovered them. Uh, it might have been the little men, r little green men, and it turns out they were unknown phenomena. Uh, they weren't radio signals from an, another source of intelligence, although we don't really know that. I mean, if I was another intelligence somewhere, I'd say, hey. I've got a neutron star over here. What I'll do is start it spinning, and I'll have maybe a planet come between the neutron star or a series of planets, and then I'll control the way the planets, because we're talking about the engineers here or the uh, the PAK, P A K, creatures that are in Larry Niven's known space series, P A K, right? Very super intelligent creatures. So you're going to send Norse, Morse, not Norse, it could be Norse, I guess it could be Norse, Morse code. Da -da -da, da 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 you know, kind of thing. But you use the spinning neutron star and you'd block it and you'd have a whole, maybe you have a whole long line of these really large planets, maybe the size of Jupiter. And here's the neutron star about 10, 10 miles across, you know. And the, the planets are arranged so as they go by, they make a pattern, you know, da 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 da. And the best pattern, we all know, of course, is the prime numbers, which turn out to be the prime numbers are, you know, divisible 
only by one in themselves. So two is a prime because it's only divisible by one and two. Three is a prime um, because it's divisible by one and three. Uh, four isn't a prime because four is divisible by two. It turns out to be divisible twice by two. And five is a prime because it's divisible only by five and one. And by divisible, of course, that means there's no remainder. Again, we get to six, and six is divisible by one, of course, and two and three. And so there's other factors other than the number six, so it's not prime. Seven, it's only divisible by one and seven, so it's a prime. And that's it. See the movie uh, Carl Sagan, really good movie. And uh, with Jodie Foster and uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey called Contact. And that we can choose with First Contact, which is, the, of course, the uh, Star Trek film. Oh, interesting. The guy who plays William, oh, no, not William, uh, Ze Zephram Cochran, the guy who discovers the warp drive. The guy's an uh, interesting character. Played a lot of things. Um, the character who plays him is also played the father of the nerd. Um, in Revenge of the Nerds, as well as a as, a, as well as a very tall chauffeur in uh, Murder by Death. Anyway, I'm off the topic again. Imagine that. How can that be? Attention deficit. Ah, look the fan. Disorder. Anyway, so what would the flag look like? That's the whole thing. Mm, interesting. And you have to have the moon. you have to have the moon. I mean, it goes without saying. Here's the Earth, and you know we have the United Nations. But I don't think there's any flags. Well, there might be. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's any flags. We have the moon. There's the crescent moon, which is the Islamic symbol, and green is the color. I guess the big three, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, have maybe a special color and special symbol. The symbol's very cool. I mean, it's the Star of David, the little triangles, and then the cross is Christian, and then the crescent moon, that's... Uh, I should turn these around for you. Here we go. There's the crescent moon, and this doesn't matter. It's symmetrical, and it's Islamic. Right. Well, how would you... What would the flag look like? Hmm should be representative. It should be too, you know, I don't want a picture of a bunch of... We've had that before, haven't we? A bunch of people, you know, Zeke Heil, or this way, we say in the United you know, you know, States, first, right makes right, right, makes right, better dead than red. Yes, the 21st century. Now we're the Nazis. Sorry about that. Peace always, um, as Dr. Brown says, the future hasn't been written yet, nobody's has, so make it a good one, as we are doing by living and been writing and by understanding and maybe trying to understand other people. Uh, enjoy life, do the least harm. Peace. And don't forget to read about stuff. Re reading's good. Reading is, you know, good. Books. If you read these books, you'll almost certainly learn something. Of course, then they, the book could be written like crazy stuff. And you have to get different points of view. And extrasolar planetary flag for Earth, Sol 3, the solar system. And with Pluto, the first Pluton of the extra far distant, and Santa, Santa Claus, I think it's Santa. There's a book, uh, How I Destroyed Pla uh, Pluto and Why It Had It Coming. A very interesting book. No, t no, 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 no maths, no mathematics. Okay. Peace, always, that's it. Hopefully be, this will be less than five minutes, was it? Rather warm today.